Yo, what's going on? So we're out here right now at Bisu Circuit again. But today isn't a drifting video. It's a fix my car to make it look nice before the competition video. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I'll show you the car real quick. So there's my 100. So my front bumper is currently broken. I've got to fix that. No side skirts. There's the new Kazama Auto side skirts that I have. And the rear bumper broke off too. Um, but I can fix it. You're probably thinking, it looks like it's in one piece, right? Well, if I undo this, if you look here, there's a small piece of fiberglass that is broken. And that usually sits at the top here of the rear bumper, you know what I'm saying? So that's what actually holds it to the car. So there's a, here's the fiberglass piece just here, and in front of it is the metal rail, which actually goes into the body of the car. You can't quite see it, but it's back here. So I gotta try figure out a way to do that. Today's main goal is maybe a two day video is to fit up the side skirts left and right, then find a way to mount this onto the back. And then my front bumper, which is broken right in the middle, fiberglass tie back together instead of doing the drift stitch because it'll just break and fall off again. So that's what I gotta do. And of course we're out here at Power Vehicles and it's raining. Every time I try to work on my car, it always rains. Yeah, cuz, so uh, let's get with it. Bruv, it's mad fam. Every time I come here to work on my car, it rains. When I drift, it's sunny, great. When I come to work on my car, it rains. And that's a nice JZX that's just got started up in the background. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it. I can't show it to you, but it sounds good. Enough talking, I wanna get this done because EDS is not too far away, cuz. So I'm not gonna do this the uh, correct way because I don't think I can do it the correct way. Usually there's a mounting point here um, and then you put it onto the back here. Um, and also because we have more angle, we actually have to cut a piece of this off, I would assume, like here or so. So I can't mount it from the front either. Um, so I'm just going to screw it into the body behind the doors. Yeah, cuz. Alright, so I've just temporarily put the Kazama Auto side skirt on the car. Just put some blocks underneath to hold it up. So these ones are actually different than Nissan ones. Usually with Nissan side skirts, you can put them underneath the doors and the, the doors can hold them up. But these Toyota ones are a little bit different. These Kazama Auto ones sit just underneath the door. So I gotta cut it over here, bro. You know what I'm saying? I gotta cut it over here. So the main reason why you cut this off is because when you turn your wheel, it'll hit the side skirt. So you cut it off so that it doesn't. And the reason why you do that is um, this kit is made for all JZXs. Turbo, non-turbo, street car, drift car. So obviously street cars don't really have the extra lock that drift cars do. So we modify it to fit. Way! This is Emily's car, bruv. Oh my goodness. So it's a mix of a Kazama Auto kit and a BN Sports wide body. It has a 1.5J and Oki's currently in there tuning the car, bro. Damn, that is nice. So, back to uh, my practice car. James came over and helped me and told me exactly what to do. So we are going to be using Rivnuts for this. So we just drilled a hole, a pilot hole right in here and now I'm gonna take this off and then drill a bigger hole with the big boy and then I'm going to rivnut in that bad boy and I'm gonna drill another hole into the side skirt using this boy and then we should be able to get it up you now I'm saying
All right, now both sides are on. There's the driver's side. And here's the passenger side, bro. Trust me, fam. So yeah, it's, uh, it's night time now. About to lock up in that. All right, so it's the next day, and we're out here again at PV. We've done the side cuts yesterday. They are looking good. So today we've got to mount up the rear bumper, which actually has the broken mounting point. So I've got to figure something out for that. And then we're gonna to have to repair the front bumper and put that on. All right, so I've uh, temporarily managed to put the uh, bumper on. There are little tabs just underneath here. So I've just slotted the bumper into there. Taped it up just to test the fitment real quick. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's not, not too bad. just cable tied it because I realized I'm probably going to hit my rear bumper and if I cable tie it then the cable ties will break as opposed to if I screw it, if I bolt it with a nut then the fiberglass will break. Okay, all tape has been taken off and the boot has been put down. Looks good, especially with the side skirts next to it as well. Looks good, looks good. James told me to come in in the morning to do the front bumper because the fiberglass needs time to set. All right, so it's day three and today is the front bumper day. Can you imagine it took me a day for the rear bumper, a day for the side skirts and a day for the front bumper. Obviously I wasn't here the whole day, I was doing things, but yeah. So front bumper, let me show you the damage. All right, so here's my front bumper in two pieces. Um, it was my fault completely that I broke the middle part. Luckily, no small pieces came off. So I'm just gonna grab the sander, sand these bad boys down on both sides with the sharp parts, and then get a piece of aluminium probably and uh, put it behind it and screw it in tight just to make it a little bit strong and then glass it back together. So uh, yeah, bruv, let's, uh, let's get started. Fixed. Dun, dun, dun. Now time to put it on the car and we can drive. Now I'm totally joking. This is just to hold it in place while I go and mix up the resin for the fiberglass. Got some help from James. He uh, made the mixture for me. I have no idea what the uh, percentages are, but he told me that I can't take too long. I was able to harden up just in there. He did the top part for me using some chop strand. And then Jono came just to measure the bumper to make sure that it was the right width for my car just there. So yeah, bruv, enough talking. Here's the chop strand, here's the stuff. I'm, I gotta do the next two parts of so this part here, which goes the whole way down, and this part at the bottom too, which I gotta fix. So yeah, bruv, uh, enough talking, and uh, more fixing, cuz. Okay, so finish that James's one looks obviously banging and uh, my one just looks like a whole lot of yeah I'll let you guys decide but yeah bruv so now just to let it dry for a couple hours and then uh, put it on the car and then let's drive bruv alright bruv last day I let the uh, fiberglass cure overnight for the front fender so here this is what it looks like it is all in one piece more or less that part still didn't stick down, but the rest of it's all strong and stuck together with a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not moving, that's good. Yeah, everything else is together, it's just this one part at the back that decided to not play ball, but that's okay. So uh, yeah, now time to fit it on and then get the whole kit on the car and have it look amazing and then go practice for EDS, bro. So I got my cable ties just there, so that's how I'm gonna do it. So yeah, let's talk in more action.
Oh my days, cuz. Look at that. It's all on, fam. Oh my days, bro. It's got a little bit of a, a cutting in the middle, but who cares, bro? It's all on. It's in one piece. I've secured it with two cable ties here, three in the middle, and another two on the other side. Bruv, look at it, this is the first time the whole kit has been on the car fam. Oh my God, let me give you a quick little, a better look at it. Oh my days, bruv, look at that. That is looking absolutely delicious, bruv. Delicious, took us a while, but we're all done and ready for EDS, because I needed the uh, front bumper and rear bumper to be on the car for EDS, because you have to make the car look presentable. And I thought, you know, I'm, I sh I've had the kit for a while, I should put on the full kit, repair the front bumper and rear bumper and put it on, and it looks delicious, bruv. Uh, I currently only have two purple wheels because I broke the other two because I keep on dropping tires and stuff. But yeah, man, that looks so banging, bruv. But yeah, cuz, thanks for keeping in touch with their multi-day series. It would have probably been like, you know, under 15 minutes for you guys. But yeah, the car looks beautiful now. Now time for me to go and practice for EDS. So hit that like button, subscribe, do all that jazz. And you better catch you next time. Cheese! Man, it looks good.